while you play with your bug. Okay, Salim, I need you to plant that bug in Miss Decibel's office, but first we need to get her out of there. I've reprogrammed those transmitters she was using on your friends with some new music. Once you place them around the room and I activate them, she's gonna come running. How do you know this? Because she happens to be a music snob, and I'm about to give her a dose of something she can't stand. Good old rock and roll. I do not care for rocks and rolling either. No, it... Never mind. Just get those transmitters in place. First bugs, now transmitters. Why do I have to carry all these things? Do I look like a camel? Why did my skin have to be climbing? Why not sleeping? Alright, just one more transmitter. Yes, yes, there is always one more thing, is there not? Thank you. 
Those transmitters with my darts, Miss Decibel will be dancing to a different tune. Bingo! Right on target! Turn up the volume. All right, now I just have to activate those transmitters and get this party started. Here's a dream! 
She's making the ground shake like an earthquake. I hope your plan will work. No, he's I, will be, I will be flattened like Peter Blake. Great work. She'll never guess there's a bug in that statue of her boyfriend. Okay, Salim, the bug is active. Now make tracks and fast. Okay, thanks to our bug in Miss Decibel's office, we now have all the information we need. It appears she has been producing counterfeit documents for La Paradox, creating a false family history that will make him an esteemed member of royalty in the present day. I've managed to inspect some of the documentation, and believe me, if we allow him to get away with this, his wealth and power will make him untouchable. I believe he is planning this to be his last and greatest caper. The key to stopping him begins with us getting through that security door in the lamp shop. I haven't been able to discover what's behind it, but we know that's where Decibel will deliver the papers to La Paradise. However, since we don't want to announce our presence, we need a diversion for the guards. So I've taken the liberty of fashioning an outfit for Carmelita, who will use it to lure the guards away from their posts by, uh, performing a belly dance. What? Possibly your best plan ever, Bentley. I'm sorry I didn't ask, Carmelita, but you're the only one who can pull this off. Uh, Bentley, I, I could do it. I am not getting into that outfit. I realize it's a bit revealing, but think of it as going undercover. Bentley? I'm positive the Murray could squeeze into that thing. Hey, Carmelita, you should model that outfit for us to make sure it fits. Shut up, Ringtail. I'm only doing this for the team. Listen, silk is very elastic. All right, let's move out. We don't have any time to waste. Okay, Carmelita, we need you to distract those guards and get them away from that door. Yeah, bust a move, Carmelita. How about I bust your face, Cooper? We're counting on you, Carmelita. Meet us inside once you can lose the guards. Bentley, you owe me big time for this one. Hey, you big apes! Yoo-hoo! Over here, you dumb knuckle-draggers! <laughs> Oh, 
This is the worst undercover assignment ever! Goodness, Interwar will never know about this. Get Bentley back for this. Cooper gang members that would take to open a door. This is the worst undercover assignment ever. I will get Bentley back for this. Does it take to open a door?
Sly, I am thinking I should go no further. I have passed my greatest wisdom onto you. The last of my friends are now retired. And I have had enough snakes and scorpions and climbing for three lifetimes. Besides, I was thinking someone should watch over Carmelita to make sure she is safe. All right, Salim. We couldn't have made it this far without you, but I think we can handle it from here. You definitely earned your retirement. Go enjoy it. And the belly dancing. Thank you. I will. expecting an underground docking station for La Paradox's blimp. No wonder we haven't seen that thing floating around. So, what's our next move, Batman? Well, first we need something to distract those guards, so I can get to that control room. I whipped up a surprise for Miss Decibel with the leftover material from Carmelita's outfit, but I think it might work better here. Finally! Just point me in the direction of the changing room and... What the? Perfect. I can use the security cameras to guide the RC car. Go, Val, go!
the coast is clear to the control room. I should head to the control room to turn off that gate. Time to show this security... Too easy. Overriding security, power grid rerouting, accessing laser network, PC load letters shut down in three, two, one, yes. Bentley. We won't get past those security cannons, and those rat troopers look serious. Murray, remember to use the circle button to stomp and pick up things. Use the square button to toss those rats, pal. Alright! Time to kick some rodent butt! Step behind as usual. May you never change. And may you always stay downwind. Ah, Cooper. You're so pathetic. You don't even realize you've already lost. We haven't lost yet, La Paradox. Oh, no. 
Bonjour, my large friend. What took you so long? Oh, drat. Celine. Hello, Cyril. I found this filthy old scoundrel unconscious outside. Actually, he's yesterday's trash. Precisely why I threw him away. But I don't understand. I thought you were after him. You're right. You don't understand. I don't care about that old bag of bones. Just his cane. Which, as you can see, I already have. Uh-oh. Double drat. Well, good. Then our deal is complete. I'm coming aboard. Hold that blimp. So sorry, Sherry. But with Monsieur Cooper here, I am afraid the schedule has changed. And I must make my exit now. I cannot risk that flea-bitten rat ruining my plans. Celine. I tried to stop him. He'll be fine, Sly. Right now, you've got to stop that pachyderm. I'm on, like stink on a skunk. Hello, Cooper. How do you like my new talk? This is your fault, Cooper. Straight your demise! Why, those containers look fragile! You'll need to find a way to get across before they break! <laughs> what will you do now? to this! Keep dancing! <laughs> Those energy cores are deadly, Mike! Stay away from them! Uh. The melody is so catchy! <laughs> You'll 
never make it, Cooper! I will remember you both one day. You're so entertaining! This is your funeral march! Come face me, and I can deliver it personally. I can hardly wait to get my hands on your cave, too. Dream on, pal. Why try cutting that cave? Zero. have known better than to work with an elephant. They have to remember everything. Everything! Never again! I'll squash you like a hairy bug! Squash him?
Oh, this is unbelievable! Are you... Well, it would seem this game is finished. How boring. we have already reached maximum weight capacity. Perhaps due to my beautiful new guest? Carmelita! <laughs> Get your paws off me, you noxious windbag! But we had a deal! I made you the documents, and you promised me the lost masterpieces! Mozart, Beethoven, romantic nights on the Riviera! Yes. Well, thank you so much for my papers, but it wouldn't have worked out between us. I'm just not into big noises, and as for your music, hmm, how can I put this? It stinks worse than I do! <laughs> Why, are you filthy, backstabbing, two-timing scoundrel! <laughs> Flattery will get you nowhere. And as for you, Cooper, don't even think about trying it. Otherwise, we're going to find out if your girlfriend can fly. I don't see any wings, do you? Touch me again and I'll break both your arms! Sly! Don't worry, Carmelita. This isn't over. Isn't it? In fact, I believe there is a perfect saying for this situation. The fat lady... She has sung. <laughs> Au revoir, Slay Cooper. Ah well, c'est la vie. We may have stopped Miss Decibel, but it meant absolutely nothing. We were on the ropes. The Paradox had beaten us every step of the way, and he held all the cards. Carmelita, my ancestor's canes, and now his fake pedigree. I couldn't remember a time since we teamed up that we felt so defeated. And talking to Dimitri didn't help. He was freaked out and yelling about having to boogie down in skunk town. So as usual, his words made little sense. But the message was clear. We had to get back home fast. We may have been down, but we definitely weren't out. There was too much riding on this. The lives of everyone we cared about, not to mention the very future of our existence. No matter how, we would make things right. So as we roared back through time to Paris, I knew we were in for the fight of our lives. We'd finally made it home to Paris, only to find a place we hardly recognized. It was obvious Le Paradox was now in control, since his face covered the city like a bad rash. The only positive was that Bentley was able to dig up a lot of dirt, including the fact that Le Paradox was from a family of thieves himself. And then we made a major discovery. I knew that my dad's heist of the world's largest diamond had made him a legendary thief. But what I never knew was that Le Paradox's father had planned to steal it first and frame my dad for the crime. Only he was a little too slow and got himself caught instead. With his father gone, Le Paradox had no one to teach him the family business. And after a string of failed jobs, he wound up in prison too. It was here, ironically, that he finally got his criminal education. After his release, Le Paradox maintained the appearance of a law-abiding citizen. In reality, 
he used his prison contacts to form his own syndicate and began masterminding heists worldwide. These days, he traveled the globe as a billionaire art collector, while his real business was the trafficking of priceless stolen treasures. Clearly, he blamed the Coopers for his family's past misfortunes, and his plan was to wipe us out completely. I had to find a way to stop it, but first, I had to rescue Carmelita. All right, we all know this is our last shot at stopping La Paradox and rescuing Carmelita. Currently, his blimp is docked outside the museum. I can't pinpoint Carmelita's exact position, but I believe she's being held somewhere near the loading bay. Sly, there appears to be a utility hatch on the blimp's underside that will get you inside. You can use one of the mooring lines to reach it. Once you're in, try to gather as much information as you can. But remember, we'll be right behind you, so don't do anything rash. Murray, I need you to get the van ready. We're gonna need backup for this one. So first, you and I are going on a little recruiting trip. Then we'll rendezvous with Sly inside the blimp and figure out our next move. Okay, I realize it's not the most elaborate plan, but it's the best we've got. So everybody watch your backs and let's go take that skunk down once and for all. Okay, Bentley, I'm in. I can see Carmelita. Just hold on, Sly. We're almost there. You know it's a setup. I know, pal, but I don't have a choice. Just get here as fast as you can. Huh? Carmelita! Sly! No! Ah! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Two rats in one trap! I knew you could not resist, Cooper. You are so predictable. Oh, yeah? Well, how's this for a prediction? I'm gonna kick that stripe right off your tail. Yes, yes, and now come the big rants from the little man. As I said, predictable. Let us out! You afraid of a fair fight, coward? No, 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 I don't think so. I have something special planned for you, too. It is, how do you say, a going away party. Okay, listen up. You all know why you're here. We have to find your canes and get you back where you belong now. If we don't, we'll never be able to repair the damage La Paradox has done. What about Sly? He's on his own for now, Murray, but I'm sure he'll be fine. It's Sly. Ryuichi, you're up first. My readings show your cane is somewhere in this room. I can sense it too, Bentley son. Attention, teachers. The Hindi cake preparation. And no, I do not want another cheesecake. <laughs> Attention, crew. Keep your beady little eyes open. We can't afford any screw ups. All crews report to stations. Prepare for departure. Troopers at 12 o'clock! This is the part of the After I get from the construction, we will be having a celebration party. And this is mandatory. What no time for a break, guys! We have to keep moving! There's Bob's cane. Looks like this one is all you, Ryuichi. Yep. It is my pleasure, my most hairy ancestor. Where are you? If you're not 
an energy field shift centered on you yes i sense it is my time to go it has been an honor meeting all of you sayonara it's working the temporal abnormality is correcting itself bob we need you to get salim's cave Why do you persist in playing a game which you have already lost? You'll never win the paradox! But it's already won! This is just a good thing! <laughs> I would entrust this to no other! Oh, again with the climbing? Get going, Salim! We've got some planning to do! Engineering, give me more power! I need to move up this schedule! What are you up to, Paradox? Salim, no time for napping! We need to step it up! All this climbing is going to turn me into a monkey.
colleague Salim, we've got some play to do. Engineering, get me more power. Get going, Salim. We've got some planning to do. Engineering, get me more power. I need to move up and schedule What are you up to, the paradox? Salim, no time for napping. We need to step it up. Oh, if only I had a magic lamp. I would wish for this job to be over. Retirement. I salute your excellence, Sir Salim. All right, now that we got Mr. Cranky Pants home safely, we need to press on. Gallop, we need your skills to get Tennessee's cave. Verily shall it be in thine command, hence and forthwith. Uh, you talk funnier than a two-headed jackalope, but thanks, amigo. You know I find your optimism quite charming. the bold. So boldly shall I... Gallop, break those fuses to disable that laser grid. Fear not! Sir Gallop will triumph! More unto the breach go I. Fare thee well, you all! More vermin dead ahead! Thank you. 
to be on some kind of timer. You'd better move it. Yeehaw! The cavalry's are coming. Hurry, Tennessee. It's all up to you now. Great power to maximum. We are going to need it all. Danger. the old crack shot here. Woohoo! I am the greatest shot ever! Pathetic. Give up now while you still have some shred of dignity. All right. I guess break time is over. Forever. Just think of it as the most romantic coffin ever. <laughs> Don't count on it, Lip Paradox. We've beaten all your other plans. Ah, but not this time, I think. Look at this. My marvelous contraption. The time tunnel. Something else I had your little friend Penelope develop before her unfortunate failure. Is very much like the time machine, no? With one important difference. From here, I have the control over where you go. And it's programmed to send you and your Interpol shrew on an endless honeymoon. Free of charge. Bouncing through time for all eternity. That's if you survive the trip. But either way, I will never have to see your irritating faces again. You think this thing can hold me? Just wait until I get out of here. Why'd you do it, La Paradox? Why the ancestors? Why not just come after me? What's the deal? The deal? The deal is you, Coopers. You destroyed my father, and you almost got me. But not quite. And when I rebuilt myself, I swore I would erase the Cooper name from history completely. And so today, my revenge will be complete. It is time now for you to go. Bon voyage! Sly! Who are you busy, Vermin? Woo wee! Cut that closer than a $10 shave. Breaking my time here is up. Take care, Tennessee! I will crush you! Carmelita and get off this thing. We all need to leave right now. That maniac just tore a hole in time space. I need to finish this fight here and now for the whole Cooper clan. And I'm the only one who can glide out of here. This whole blimp could disappear any second. Right, so there's no time to argue. Just go. Sly, I... I know. Me too. Come, Cooper. I will teach you to fight like a gentleman. And how would you know? Ha! I'm going to save that Cooper tongue for last. After I cut the rest of you. Come, Cooper. I will teach you to fight like a gentleman. And how would you know? Ha! I'm going to save that Cooper tongue for last. After I cut the rest of you to pieces. It's too bad it didn't work for me. I couldn't use that. 
It wouldn't have worked out. I'm allergic to morons. What? You cheated! What the? A lucky break, Cooper. You'll be lucky if I only break your neck. Come on, I'm waiting for you. Why don't you just kill? And I'll make it painless for you. Why don't you come over here and right take up. it? One thing straight. You came after the Coopers because of what happened to your father? No, you imbecile. I came after the Coopers to prove that Le Paradox is the greatest thief who has ever lived. Is there any doubt? Ask yourself this. If the Coopers were truly the greatest thieves in history, and I have stolen their most valued possessions, then what does that make me? Um, an idiot? You had it made. You could have been the biggest thief of all time, but you had to target my ancestors and blow your own cover. You exposed your operation because of your ego. No Cooper would have done that. And for the record, can you really say you stole the canes? Seems like your friends did all the real work. Enjoy your words, Cooper, because they will be your last. Ready to meet your doom? It's time to end it. I agree, but I'm not the one who's going down. I detest you. The very sight of you fills me with rage. I thought we were going to be pals. I tire of this shaman, There's just no point. Sure there is. It's right there on top of your head. This is not right. My plan was perfect. Sorry, pal. You just can't plan for a Cooper. Just please. Help me! Why should I? I do not wish to die! I guess you won't be doing any harm from a prison cell. As I said, so predictable. You won't get away with this. I'll find you. Au contraire, Sly Cooper. I do not think we will meet again. <laughs> it's been a while since that night, but there's still no sign of Sly. Or that cursed blimp. The skunk could barely tread water. So by the time they picked him up, he was happy to see them. 
Word is he earned a special cell in solitary confinement, where the only thing he'll be collecting from now on is gray hair. Both Paris and the Phoebus Raccoonus were back to normal, but that hardly made us feel any better. At first, we just waited, assuming Sly would show up the way he always did. But as the days stretched into weeks, we had to face the fact that he was truly lost. We've stopped talking about it all the time, but I know it's all we're thinking about, even if we show it in different ways. Murray seems like his usual cheerful self, but I can tell there's a new level of seriousness underneath it all. He's on the professional wrestling circuit now, and he's really been pushing himself. I know he's doing it to keep his fighting skills sharp. Like all of us, he wants to be ready for action the minute we locate Sly. Carmelita returned to Interpol, where she threw herself into her work, busting criminals at a record pace. She's been so busy, I haven't seen her for a while now. My sources tell me she's conducting her own investigation into Sly's whereabouts. Out of everyone, I think she took his disappearance the hardest, even if she never shows it. At least not in public. As for myself, I continue to search. Even using all my technology, I haven't found a clue. The time machine is no help since we need to know where Sly was for that to work. I get discouraged sometimes, but I'll never give up. Because I know Sly's out there, and I know that wherever he is, we will find him. Ryoichi Cooper continued to refine his master ninja techniques as well as his sushi. And while his thefts were never detected, his sushi restaurant was recognized as the finest in Japan. El Jefe remains behind bars. He was transferred to a South American prison, where he now works rolling cigars. Unfortunately for him, there's no smoking allowed. Tennessee Kid Cooper recovered his gold and his place in history as the greatest outlaw of the Old West. His legend grew even bigger when he began stealing from crooked lawmen exclusively. Toothpick was arrested and became part of a chain gang working on the railroads. He eventually went deaf and faded into obscurity. Caveman Cooper kept up his physical training and returned to his role as Egg Thief Extraordinaire. Perhaps most importantly, he pioneered the use of his cane as a tool for thieving. The Grizz received a lengthy prison sentence and began a new career as a rap artist. In his spare time, he paints portraits of his fellow inmates. Sir Galleth Cooper returned to his heroic adventures and went on to form the Knights of the Cooper Order, a gallant group that stole from corrupt nobility. He also became a successful if overly dramatic, actor. Penelope was sent to Europe's highest security prison, where she promptly escaped. She remains at large, and the police have no clue as to her whereabouts. 
Recently, however, I've been receiving mysterious postcards. Salim al Kupar finally retired from thieving and took a long nap. Then he dreamed up a lucrative new business. Parking his camel around town, he sold snacks to hungry customers. It was highly successful. <laughs> After being locked up, Miss Decibel decided to make some changes. She had the horn removed from her trunk, enrolled in anger management classes, and began teaching music to other prisoners. With continued good behavior, she might get an early parole. Dimitri returned to his globe-trotting ways as a celebrity scuba diver and even launched a new line of fashion wear. He's so successful, there's a new reality TV show chronicling his adventures. It's called Disco Diver. La Paradox had all his assets seized, including his art collection and everything was donated to the city of Paris. I'm told his cell was modified to be completely odor-proof. I suppose that's good for the guards, since he's going to be living there for a very long time. <laughs>